it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie. So today I am going to go through my top five female roles that I have ever played. So we're going to go from five to one. So in at number five is Juliet Capulet from Romeo and Juliet. I've played her three times kind of. Uh, first time I played her was in Pace uh, Youth Theatre in 2008-2009. We did a sort of kind of Romeo and Juliet thing and it really got me into Shakespeare and um, I thoroughly enjoyed it and then I did um, Juliet's um, Farewell God Knows When We Should Meet Again uh, monologue soliloquy in 2004 as my addition to West College Scotland and I got in with it and then more recently in January this year I did her Gallop of Pace You Fiery Footed Steeds monologue um, for my graded unit this year, my HND graded unit. I enjoyed playing Juliet because I get told I would never play Juliet so for me to do monologues of Juliet is like dream come true so like if anyone ever needs me for a Romeo and Juliet, Kenneth Branagh or anything like that or any kind of sort of Shakespeare come to me I would happily play Juliet. That is like my dream role, I would love to play Juliet, I'd also love to play Hamlet but that's another story but I would love, 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 love to play Juliet because I get told I would never play a romantic lead so I'd like to just kick someone up the arse and say, ah, lol, look at me, I'm playing Juliet. So yeah, that's, that's, that's something. In at number four is a character from Road and her name's Lane. Road is a play by Jim Cartwright and it's basically about Lanarkshire in the 1980s and Margaret Thatcher's still ruling and it's just how it's gone to shit in Lanarkshire and, um, it's, this is our road. It's just very, quite cool. Anyway, I played this uh, during my HND year last, well, the start of my HND year in August, uh, October 2015, just there. And I loved Lane, and you, as you can see by the photos on your screen, it's she the metal costume. My God, I've still got the costume, still got the dress. It was like, it's meant to be like a bodycon dress and it just has a V like that. And um, I, weared, I wore it as the top and wore leggings with it, my, my, gl my glitzy heels that I still have. Oh my god, and I still have the scrunchie as well. That hair was like, literally let's wash it and wet it, let it dry itself and then I just put like all this kind of cream and mousse in it to make it look like it was like literally, I was Whitney Houston and I want to dance with somebody video. Um, but yeah, no I love playing Lane and I got a sidekick, I got to play with Dor who is played by June and that was so much fun because the two of us just had this, the absolute so much fun. See when that fucking scaffolding decided to come into it. Oh, Evelyn man, what were you thinking? That scaffolding just gave me the fear every time. But see the more me and June played with it and got to have fun with it. We were sort of like, this is actually really cool. This is so much fun. And once I kind of got into the role, I had to snog Reese who played Scullery. And I had to snog him and I'd never done that before. I'm not, I'm not a person that goes around and snogs people. So it was really difficult for me to get into the character. But when I did, oh my God, we literally... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It's such a f good memory to think back on. It actually howls so much just thinking about like us snogging on this scaffolding, man. And I had lipstick on, so it was all over his face every single time. We always had to make up wipes as he came off stage because he had to go on like a minute later. So it's quite funny just having to see him come off stage and be given a makeup wipe so he could take all this. Oh, it's so funny. And every time I get pulled off the scaffolding by Reese, I I had like a bruise right down my thigh by my butt for like a week and a half. Oh, that was so much fun. Um, that was at the Webster's Theatre, aka Courtier's Theatre in Glasgow. And we did four shows. We did two matinees and two evening performances in October last year. And it was the first ever time I'd done a prolonged run in a theatre. The only other time I'd done it was... Um, uh, was, oh god, Liz and Angels um, when I did the Connections Theatre uh, Festival and we did that at the Lyceum Theatre in Edinburgh but we only did one show and we did sort of a dress rehearsal but with Webster's we were in from the Wednesday and we were doing dress rehearsal, dress runs on the Wednesday and then we did the sh two shows on the Thursday and two shows on the Friday so it was like a prolonged run so it was like kind of cool Number three is a character, I can't believe I'm adding to this list but I have to Dolly Levi from The Matchmaker. I did this last year for my HNC in February 2015. I hated The Matchmaker. Oh my god, did I hate her? What? But I have to add Dolly to this list due to the fact that she's the first ever romantic lead that I've ever played. Although it's a romantic comedy, she is the first lead character I've ever played 
ever. Plus she's the first ever kind of, she gets the guy in the end. That's the first ever time I've played that. And Dolly is the matchmaker. So that's how she's the lead character. She is the kind of matchmaker. She's in every scene but I think a few. I think she's, no, she's in every scene but a couple. Anyway, I was double cast. Me and Rebecca played her and I played two shows with her and uh, we, it was in the college so it wasn't out. But I lost my shit halfway through it. I couldn't, I couldn't, I'd never, I, I didn't prepare myself. When I decided to audition for Dolly, I didn't think to myself, oh, by the way, you do realise you're going to have over 300 lines to learn whilst you're going through loads of shit with your granite time. I was like, oh, no, I can do it, I can do it. Then it came to, like, second week of rehearsals and I was like, shit, I can't do it. And there was just a lot of problems with it. Um, there was a lot of problems with people missing and people not turning up. No, fucking hell. It was basically hell. But it was okay, I got through it and at the end I was really proud of myself because I was told I would never play a romantic lead and I did. So I was like, fuck yeah, I can do this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And um, so yeah, I was quite proud of myself at the end but I did have a breakdown um, through it so that was not fun. And it was a comedy role as well and I was sick of playing comedy roles. Number two um, is Anna from The Reunion. If you don't know what The Reunion is, it's sort of an unknown play and it's about um, these students who are about to leave school and they're about to go out into the real world so they are going to take like, tests and find out what they're going to be when they're older and they go to a guidance counsellor and they're you know a lot of them are really nasty to each other so your typical kind of school thing and um with my character she was the quiet one she never spoke in class at all like i think she spoke two words in the act first act and um yeah she just didn't speak in you know, that was just kind of her, she never spoke, she was quiet, everything like that. Then Act 2 rolled around and it was 10 years later and they were having a reunion at the school and Anna was the last to come in and you find out that she's actually a stripper now and um, she ends up being the character in the end that is the most mature and has matured over the past 10 years although people judge her for her career she's the one that's kind of skyrocketed and matured over the past 10 years because as the other characters talk to the teacher 10 years later they still call him say Mr Hillman they still call him that whereas Anna when she leaves she calls him James and she calls him by his first name or whatever his first name was and it shows that she is on equal parring with him and that she's matured and the rest haven't so I really thought it was quite cool. And in at number one is the most recent role I have played it is Verity Taylor from Find Me. If you haven't seen I did um, another five shows at we well four shows at Webster's, one at SWG3 with Find Me and with my college and my HND you're back in May just there and Verity was a character that I actually thought I would enjoy and I did enjoy her. Oh, did I take her home with me and end up staring at my wall for hours and actually realising that I was sinking further into the depression I already had? Yes. Had to like quit that before it got too bad. Um, usually I take my characters home with me. When pe actors say they take their character home with me them, it means that like they kind of stay with their character during the night. They kind of dwell on their character everything like that, that once they've done a kind of dress rehearsal or something like that they don't switch back to themselves they kind of keep some traits of their character and I did that for a couple of weeks because I thought it would help me kind of get into the character a bit more become a bit method oh no let's not do that mm -mm, I've already got depression and anxiety and paranoia I don't need any more and I saw myself sinking and actually heading towards a relapse and I was like oh no wait hold on Right, let's leave Verity at the door when I leave college and then just pick her back up at the door before I go back into the rehearsal room. Let's do that. So I had to do that because I thought I can't actually physically take Verity home with me or I'll actually end up not being able to do this play. So I was Verity number five. There was four other Verities because they show different ages of her and it's based on a true story and it was an amazing play to actually work with and it was amazing. We did um, four shows, so we were in Webster's from, it was another it was another prolonged run, we were in Webster's from Tuesday, full of dress rehearsals. Wednesday came around we did an evening show, Thursday came around we did a matinee and an evening show and then the Friday night we did an uh, evening show and then on the Monday we were in at SWG3 doing a dress rehearsal and then on the Tuesday we were um, doing a show at SWG3. But let's talk about the Friday night of the show for Find Me. That was when I went, reached my point. I, re I reached it. Like everyone at one point in the show, whether it's the last show or the first show, you reach your point where you just reach your pinnacle and it's really your best performance. Um, I'm not going to lie. 
the Friday night performance of Finds Me. In my head, it was my last performance ever at WC at West College Scotland. Because obviously I'm going away to uni, so I'm not going to be acting as, you know, I'm not doing an acting course, so it's not going to be something I get to do as often as I would like. So I realised this was going to be the last time I was going to act with my best friends and my family and it was the last time. Although we did SWG3 but it didn't feel the same but being at Webster's this was the last time. And I gave my fucking all into that show and um, it paid off. Um, at the end I had been waiting to get the emotional sort of, I wanted to be emotional at the end of the show but I never did. I, the couple of tears but it was never anything. But, I mean, the Friday night performance, I don't know if it was because my birth mum was in the audience or I realised this was the last show, but I lost my shit. And I wept like a baby on stage. I was actually shaking. As I came off stage, I started hyperventilating and I started sobbing and Jasmine, who was playing my mum, actually had to run up behind me and hold me for about two minutes because I couldn't stop crying. I had to get taken upstairs. I was actually in absolute wells of tears. It was not even funny and... I just realised that I was going to lose all these people and I wasn't going to see them again for a long time. So yeah, it was really, it was a really poignant show and it's a show I'll always remember and I love that I've got photographic evidence of it as you've seen on the screen. I've got loads of photos from it and um, also the fact that I've got that day in the life um, video that's on my channel. I've got that and I can always go back and watch it and you know, I, I'm going to get emotional now, I'm going to start crying but... I loved working with my cast and with my college. It was it was something special and um, I feel like they were family. Unlike those at my first college, you know, I definitely feel like this, these guys were family and it's a shame that I won't get to see them as often as I'm like, but um, I'm definitely going to go back and see their shows. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on Monday for my Romeo and Juliet playlist! Woohoo! Buzzing half my tits. Right, see you then. Bye!